Hello, it is Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. I'm Chris Remond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Wednesday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a midweek, mid-difficulty themed puzzle. And uh, it's another debut construction. It's always nice. In any case, this debut midweek puzzle has been brought to us by the Lake House Bros, William Arundel, Adam and Annette Noble, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are, of course, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they really do directly support this channel and keep it all going. For that, I'm incredibly grateful. Thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the campaign. It does mean a lot to me. And if you'd like to support the channel directly yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find all of the bonus videos available to patrons. And there's also, of course, the let's check the crosses um, mug for benefactors. So it's all there. Uh, there's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server. You can join via a description field link. It's a nice, friendly chat community. And finally, there is the um, ability to support the channel in small but very helpful ways by liking the videos, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Those things are all big, big helps. So thank you if you've done them. All right, let's get on to the crossword, shall we? This is, as I said, a debut construct. Uh, sorry, debut puzzle by the constructor Kareem Is. We've had quite a few. Um, quite a few debuts recently. It's always nice to see. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. See how we get on. Travel requirement at times. In four letters, probably a visa. You might need a visa to travel to certain countries. Let's see. Acid container. You could have a vat of acid. Simple enough. Hospital area. Maybe ICU, intensive care unit, in three letters, starting with an I. Friar known for his patronage of animals. Friar, known for his patronage of animals. I'm not sure offhand. I wonder if I'll recognize this when I see it. Book before Romans. Well, I wouldn't have known this off the top of my head, but in four letters with AC, looks like Acts to me. That's a book of the Bible. So there we go. Oh, the friar will be Saint somebody. I mean, that makes sense, but I don't, I don't know who. What had a major impact on this puzzle's theme? Interesting. Oh, right. And, and of course, I haven't yet um, consciously observed these highlighted cells here. So it looks like they they traverse or or uh, maybe travel through or under or over, depending on, on the nature of the theme, these certain black cells. So we'll, we'll have to see what's going on there. Uh, but an, uh, you know what, although it does occur to me that an asteroid is something that could have a major impact in a sort of punny kind of way. Maybe there will be some kind of crater related theme. I don't know, but I like that as a guess. Let's see. Cluster as of grass. Yes, a tuft of grass. So Saint, patron of animals, Saint, I, I don't know, I just can't think. Factory blank, factory ready maybe? Is that a phrase? It sort of sounds like it is, but I'm not sure. Let's go back up to the top. Okay, where the 10 countries with the lowest median age are all located. Probably Africa has a particularly low uh, median age demographically. Um, okay not with stamp, sort of the opposite of Europe in that regard, I would suspect. Uh, notwithstanding, uh, albeit maybe, you could say, uh, this is true, albeit with these qualifications, notwithstanding these qualifications. King James, that's LeBron James, the NBA player, there we go. There's a sports thing I, I could actually answer confidently, I think confidently. Co uh, Guinness records typically are Feats, they're, you know, feats of accomplishments. So you've did something the fastest or the most or whatever. Some handoff recipients in football for short. Well, I certainly wouldn't have known this, but with the clues, I, with the crosses, it's RBs, which I believe is running backs. There we go. Some investments in brief, IRAs, uh, individual retirement accounts, which is, uh, that's a tax advantaged retirement instrument in the United States, uh, investment instrument in the United States. Uh, Boston, Amherst, and others. Those are colleges. Those Boston College, Amherst College. Those are, yeah, those are uh, U.S. Uh, colleges. Immune response trigger. An antigen, maybe? So does that work here? Product of volcanic activity, basalt. There we go. That sounds right. Uh, the, the, I don't know, rock or mineral, whatever you'd call it. And then here we have moccasins, but not Oxfords. So slip-on shoes. So moccasins, you slip them on. Oxfords, you have to lace up. 
in Oxford would be a dress shoe. Blank, uh, por favor, so there we go, but it's Spanish, please. And then it's a me problem, ego, egoism maybe? Literally a problem of oneself. Great 10th century emperor. Uh, someone the first. Who would this be? I'm not sure offhand. Oh, and what about this? Sorry, I just realized I haven't reconsidered these shaded cells. Well, so the clue here is word before nail or after steel. I'm not sure. I mean, I want this shaded word to be bronze, but I don't know why it would be particularly. I can't, I can't tell what this is. Don't know. Okay, well, let's just look at the crosses. Sounds of surprise, O's or O's or something. It's probably something H-S. And features of many ceratopsians. Is this, uh, this must be some kind of group, animal grouping. So maybe they're horned animals, horns based on the, the fill here. Like a rhinoceros or something, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Something possibly triggered during a mass extinction event, right? This, maybe, is this relevant to the asteroid bit? Oh, oh, Brontosaurus is what this is going to be. Okay, yes, okay, I see. Brontosaurus, here we're going to have Stegosaurus. Um, we're presumably going to have more dinosaur name prefixes here. Great, okay, good. I think we figured out what that is. And this <laughs> this mass extinction event is what kind of triggered me to, to thinking about that. So a seism, maybe, so a huge earthquake or something could be triggered. Certain grueling race informally. A tri is in a triathlon, presumably. And then, oh, Otto the Great, Otto the First. Okay, that, that, that'll be the answer here. And then sounds of surprise are O's. So that came through as one of the two likely possibilities. Okay, good. Let's move on. Factory, okay, it's not factory, whatever I said. Factory tenant, I don't know why that would be true. Factory beret. Factory... Oh, re reset, factory reset. If you have an electronics device or something, maybe you reset it back to factory settings uh, to see if that fixes the problem. So, oh, St. Francis. Oh, I should have thought of that. St. Francis, pa patronage of animals. That, I, that, that is very familiar now that, I, now that I think of it. But for some reason, I just didn't pop to my mind. Okay, well, there we go. Voice of doom. Voice of doom. Some kind of a pessimist or a, a fatalist or what else would go in here? Not sure. Blue material, I'm not sure about that either. End up okay. And not forbidden, licit, something's legal, it's licit, it's not forbidden. Blue material, I don't know. Accelerated high school English course. Oh, ad advanced placement literature maybe, AP lit? Could, could be the answer. Um, so then what is the voice of doom? Oh, no, no. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. I'm, I can't just, I have so much of the word filled in, but I can't get to the rest of it. To end up okay is, oh, if a plan ends up okay, it pans out. So pan out, there we go. And then blue material. Oh, so blue material in a kind of metaphorical sense. So blue is in racy material, it's adult material maybe, so smut. There we go. And an alarmist would be a voice of doom. There we go, alarmism. Okay, certainly something we're all familiar with these days. And then first dog on an orbital space flight is a Laika. It's a dog on an orbital space flight. There we go, the Soviet dog. And then uh, joking is I kid. Uh, professors, helpers, are TAs, teachers, teaching assistants. Okay. Boring bit is a, I assume this is not going to be something that's tedious, but rather something that bores a hole. Yes, an auger. There we go. There we go. Okay. So a, a literally a bit with which to bore a hole in something. Novelist King who wrote Caretakers and One on One. I'm not sure. That doesn't ring a bell to me immediately. Let's keep looking. Applications could be uses of a particular thing. Some uh, uh, Wall Street Journal topics. So Wall Street Journal is uh, known as a business-oriented newspaper. So maybe they maybe they particularly would cover IPOs, initial public offerings of companies. Could be. 
at a doll's house playwright Ibsen, so Henrik Ibsen, the, the famous playwright. Uh, secret traitors are spies. Oh, yes, yes, because they're not traitors who are secret, although I suppose they kind of are in this case as well. But more importantly, the thing that they trade, it, uh, things they trade are secrets, so spies. Oh, Tabitha, this must be, Tabitha King. Okay, I mean, I just can't imagine what other name this is going to be. So what about this one? Mary, Queen of Scots, there we go, famous historical figure. And if one is spooked by something, one's scared at it, maybe? I don't know, scared. We're not going to say by again, because it's already in the clue. Scared, I don't know, we'll come back to it, but it's probably scared something. Digital money, e-cash, I suppose. There we go, the return of the E word. No one says e-cash, I'm fairly confident. Uh, but there we go, I think, I think that's probably what the answer is. Maybe I'll eat my words if it's actually something else. List follower, yeah, I think it is E, because list follower could be ETC, etc. You know, you could have a list and then it could trail off in ETC, more to come. Well, or rather, the rest not included. One dying for a cause, a martyr, uh, by definition, has died for a cause in which they believe. And an ancient message, uh, method of encipherment with a message wrapped around a cylinder. Uh, I was going to say scrying. Is that not, what is, what are we looking for here? I don't, I don't, maybe I don't know this word. Come together could be to mesh or to meld or to uh, meet. <laughs> I'm thinking of this four letters wrong. I don't know. Four letters long and four letters wrong for that matter. Common typeface starting in, starting with an A and five letters, I suspect will be Arial. That's one of the default Microsoft Windows fonts. Rulers dimensions. Um, so we have a question mark here. When you read rulers' dimensions, I think what you think of are measurements on a, a, a straight edge of device used to measure things. But the question mark makes me think perhaps we're talking about the kind of area ruled over by a monarch or some other form of ruler or something like that. So maybe a realm, the question mark pun indicator there so would suggest read this in a different way. I'm going to try that and see if I think, see if it works. Yes, a coastal inlet would be a RIA. There we go, geographical clue. A jug unit abbreviation could be a gallon. Maybe you'd have a gallon jug. And then a bow making timber. Uh, bows must be made of elm, or at least that must be a common bow making wood. And then to come together is to merge. There we go. That was the thing I couldn't think of. So to put, oh, it's not to put up, it's put up in the past. So if you put up a building, you erected it. There we go, or a monument or something. So then here we have a Tyrannosaur. There we go. Tyrannosaurus. Uh, there we go. Good. And what is this one? An Allosaurus? I remember that name. A-L-L-O, Allosaurus. Pretty sure that's right. Good. Okay, we've got our four dinosaurs uh, who are impacted by the asteroid. Had a major impact on the puzzle's theme. Okay, anyway, what about this one? Oh, this is the ancient method of encipherment that I didn't know and still don't seem to. Sittle? I, I, I think I'm just not, not aware of this. Like Beethoven by his mid-40s, astonishingly Beethoven, but well, astonishingly, but also famously Beethoven was, was deaf by his mid-40s, was still composing extraordinary works of music. It's really something. Comfy shoe, a loafer. Uh, that's another slip-on shoe, actually, like the moccasin referred to earlier. West Coast Airport Code. Uh, well, the one I know best is SFO, San Francisco International Airport. Um, could well be the answer. I think it probably is. That F is fairly un un unusual. Uh, here we have blank Fidelis, Adeste Fidelis. Um, that is, what is, what is Adeste Fidelis? It's a, it's a, it's a Christmas carol, right? Uh, in any case, I'm sure it's the answer. And then, um, spooked by, oh, scared of, right? Don't know why that didn't occur to me, but there we go. So you're spooked by something, you're scared of it. There we go. That makes perfect sense. Enthusiasm is the mother of blank. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Of effort. Effort. Right. Ah, that is so true. Yes. If you're enthusiastic about something, you will be driven to put effort into it. And if you're not, very difficult to muster the requisite effort. Crystalline mineral deposits. Crystalline mineral deposits in some caves. Oh, nitre, so like saltpeter. Um, there we go. That'll be that answer there. 
Um, it's funny, this word comes up occasionally in uh, the listener crossword. I've, I've encountered in the listener crossword a few times. I'm so, I've, I really only ever encounter it in that context or in ordinary life. So I'm so much more used to seeing it spelled R-E in the British manner. And it, uh, I had to push past a set of mental block to recognize it as a word right there. Um, but of course, it is perfectly normal to spell that way as well. Newspaper supplement would be an insert, an advertising insert or something. Uh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh masterpiece. I know neither of those is uh, correct in, in the Dutch, but what would it be? Irises, maybe? And uh, so painting, obviously. And then pants, but half off. Oh, is Tyrannosaurus. Sorry, that looks much better now that I see it. Because yes, pants but half off would be trow. So I think what this is looking for is the word trousers, but cut in half. And then trow is, a, is an abbreviated form of trousers. So, so there we go. Okay, Roman fountain name. Uh, Trevi, the Trevi fountain. I'm pretty sure that's right. Let's look at the crosses. It helps keep a tight ship tight. Uh, I don't know what we're looking for here. What about this one? Beethoven's Fur Elise. So this is a piece of music by, uh, there we go, Beethoven, who was previously referenced, um, dedicated to Elise. So that dedication for Elise has become the commonly accepted name of that of that piece. Quattro procedure would be tre, so uh, three before four. Writer's reference, or what each row of shaded letters is, is missing right oh it's this is very good it's missing the thesaurus so depending on how which half of the clue we're answering it's either a thesaurus a reference work listing synonyms of words or the thesaurus the end of the names of this dinosaurs very good very nice punny clue uh sort of conclusion to the theme it helps keep a tight ship tight. Oh, a rivet. Right. Okay. I was, for some reason, I was thinking of wooden sailing ships. I have no idea why, but no, this is referring to a, uh, you know, a sort of a, a, a modern ship that would be you know, riveted steel or something. Father on modern family. Well, in four letters with H-I-L, looks like it must be Phil. So annual architecture award. I don't know. This word looks like annotate. Yes. To leave a mark on something would be to annotate it. So to, you know, mark it up with uh, proofreading suggestions or something. Oh, Pritzker, the Pritzker Prize. I do. I actually have heard of that as a as a um, a prestigious architecture award. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's not the kind of thing I'm familiar with in my daily life, but I, I have at least heard of it. Okay. Japanese exporter of diesel engines, a Suzu. Okay. They must export diesel engines. I know they make trucks and things. Letters that go in both blanks of blank Tofferson, <laughs> Chris Christofferson. I actually saw an amazing film recently from 1995 called Lone Star. I was able to see it in the, in the cinema in London, which was really nice. It, I, I don't know. It must have been, I don't know if it was being reissued or something. Uh, Lone Star, absolutely amazing film. And Chris Christofferson was in it. One of the, probably one of the best written films I've seen recently. Okay. Banknote made of pure cotton fiber. Uh, uh, Euro must be. There we go. I know a lot of modern banknotes are made out of out of cotton fibers. Okay, music producer Gotti, who worked with Ja Rule and J Lo. I don't know. Ira, I, I, I just don't recognize it, unfortunately. One may ask for a dinner preference. Oh, an RSV. Oh, Irv must be Irv Gotti. Okay, and then so RSVP. So uh, an invitation. Répondez s'il vous plaît from the French, and then soak up. Maybe gravy with bread could be to sop it up. And that was the crossword. There we go. I think a fairly approachable Wednesday crossword with a fairly approachable theme in the sense that the main theme answers, we simply fill out. Oh, so this reminds me. We never looked back at this. Word before nail or after steel. So toenail or steel toe. There we go. All right. Yeah, completely forgot to um, re-examine that. Anyway, these answers were simply filled in as normal. That created the sort of meat of the of the theme, and then the little explanatory bits. That we sort of had a multifaceted revealer because we had our asteroid, which had a major impact on the puzzle's theme. We, yeah, you could argue. I don't know. You could you could argue whether this one was part of the theme or not. Something possibly triggered during a mass extinction event. I'm not sure it is technically part of the theme, but it's certainly related to it. And then we had here uh, the writer's reference or what each of the shaders, shaded 
row shaded letters is missing, so it's missing the Saurus to create the Brontosaurus, Stegosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, and Allosaurus. And I think those were all the bits of the theme. Uh, those were the main parts anyway. If I if I missed some little reference elsewhere, I apologize. Uh, but there we go. I think a nice, fairly approachable Wednesday crossword with a nice, approachable theme. And um, I don't know if this is in honor. I don't know if there's any sort of any reason this is this is this is timely. Probably not. It's just a fun little dinosaur-related uh, set of references in the crossword. Fair enough. And a very nice debut construction by Kareem Ayas. So welcome to him. And thanks for joining me. And actually, you know what? I will. Um, I will just take a quick moment to see if there were any, if there's anything worth, uh, any corrections that needed addressing from yesterday's comments. Let's see. So time gentleman says, I think like, like as a cutesy way of saying, have a crush on would mostly be used in a sentence like, do you like him or do you like, like him? I think that's true. I think you're right. It probably wouldn't be used on its own. It's used as an intensifier to like specifically in that context by, by way of contrast. Um, and then George points out something that, yeah, I should have pointed out, um, but didn't, which was that the theme literally included boxed toys on Boxing Day. I think I sort of <laughs> mentioned the sort of individual elements of that. Oh, we've got gifts wrapped up and we've got, you know, it's and it's Boxing Day, but I never elegantly connected it in a single uh, sentence boxed, oh, sentence fragment anyway, boxed toys on Boxing Day. Simple as that. That was the theme. And and that's that. That's all, that's all that seems to be here. So thank you, as always, so much for joining me for this edition of The Daily Solve. Um, I will not be back tomorrow with the standard crossword. Um, maybe if I can find time late in the day, I'll, I'll go back and record it. But my plan is tomorrow to have a, uh, a replacement solve. Um, and uh, it'll be a cryptic crossword from last week that I recorded. And it's it's very explanatory. So it really goes through how to solve each clue in detail. And let me know if you would like me to solve more of those with less explanation. I'm not really sure. I'm never really quite sure how to tune that because obviously the main focus of this puzzle is not cryptic crosswords. So I wouldn't expect people watching this channel to necessarily um, have a great deal of, deal of familiarity with them. So I erred on the side of over explaining, but let me, let me know what you'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to see any, anything else in that regard. Anyway, that's that for today's video. Um, hope you enjoy the replacement solve tomorrow. And then I will certainly be back with you the following day. So do join me. Oops. Um, and that's that. Uh, have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Uh -huh.